Hi everyone. So for today's video, we are doing a three looks and one palette challenge. Is it really a challenge? I don't know. But I've seen a lot of people doing this, mostly um, at Lee on YouTube. And I've always thought it was so cool how she did three looks in one palette. And I was like, wow. So guess what? I'm doing it. So <laughs> if you want to see what looks I created using this palette, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with the first look and I'm gonna grab this Like it's a green shade and I'm just gonna put that all over my crease Now I'm going to grab the The lightest blue shade that's on the palette and I'm gonna grab a significantly smaller brush like this one and I'm going to concentrate this like right in the crease like right here and no, I'm not gonna drag it up I'm just gonna put it there and then I'm gonna blend it out before I continue I'm going to put some translucent powder below my eyes so I don't get that much fallout okay. and now I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna go back in with the yellow brush I mean the the yellow green and put that all over the crease again because we lost some of that while we were blending the blue I'm going to grab the, this shimmery shade that's on here and I'm going to put that right here on the center just like that do the same thing on the other eye and look how pretty that looks that is beautiful And I'm gonna go back in with this brush and I'm gonna grab that baby blue again and we're gonna deepen the sides right here deepen it up a little bit more and then slowly blend 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 and then with the bigger blush brush brush the brush, I'm just going to blend it all out. And I'm just going to go back in with that shimmery shade and put it all over our center of our lid again. Just like that. And on the other side as well. I'm going to grab a smaller brush like this just something super tiny and I am going to grab this yellow shimmery shade that's in the palette and I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corners of my eyes just gonna brush it off and the other side as well and we're gonna finish our eyes Since we have so many colors in this palette, I think I am going to use this darker green. Well, it's like a blue, and we're going to put it on our lash line, just like that, on the other side as well. We're going to grab the lighter blue shade again, we're going to put that right on top. I'm just going to blend that out lightly. And once 
once we have something like this, I'm just gonna grab this dome brush that we were using for the light blue, and we're just gonna blend all that out. And now with that bigger fluffier brush, we're gonna grab um, the first shade that we used, which was the, the lime green. And we're just gonna lightly buff this into our lower lash line. And this is look number one. I added some green lipstick, some lashes, and I mean, what do you think? Okay, so for the second look, I'm going to grab some of these blue shades and we're going to do something a little bit blue and iridescent. So I'm going to start with the um, matte blue, navy blue that's on the palette. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And then slowly blend it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye with that same shade. Slowly tap. And then blend. The darker colors, you definitely want to start off a little bit more slower. And then with lighter colors, because with darker colors, it's going to be a lot harder to clean up if you mess up. And right now, we're just doing a little bit of this. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We're adding more to build it up. And I'm pushing it out, up into my crease. I'm just gonna keep building the blue up until I get it how I want it to look. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so you can see it better but it's a nice blue shimmery shade it has kind of like an iridescent um purple to it i don't know if the camera can pick it up but it looks really good and with this one i am going a little bit a little bit more a little bit a little bit some more crazy but it's okay because we're gonna blend it with the with the blue shade that we have. So it's not like we're not gonna lose the spark that it has. And if we do, we can fix it. Everything is easily fixable. Fixable. I'm gonna go back in with that blue. And I'm just going to tap it on the end and then drag it to the side like we did earlier and up on the crease wow so i actually really like this look i'm just gonna go in with my finger and i'm gonna tap where we had that iridescent shade so we can just blend out better because i feel like with our finger it just it looks more seamless than if i did it with the brush again Sometimes with some shadows you need to do that, you know, it just because you have to use your finger doesn't mean that the eyeshadow is bad You know, you just have to use your finger so you can get the best quality out of the Out of the shadow Because sometimes the brushes can be um, Can be too hard or they can be like too I don't know. They're just not For the shadow and you just have to like, you know, work with it Now I'm gonna go back and blend it. And so I like how it's looking. It's the blue that we've been using. There's a darker blue. And I'm going to tap into that one with the same brush. And we're going to focus that right here. 
just so it can have more of a smoky eye effect. Well, I went in not knowing what to expect from this because I have never ever done a three looks, one palette challenge. And honestly, I'm excited because I really like this look and just know that if you see me and I'm rocking this, it's because of this. So, thanks to you who voted for palette number three. Okay. I'm going to go in with this smaller brush and I'm just going to grab this white iridescent shade that's on the palette. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Can you see that? And I'm going to put that in my inner corner on this side as well. And I'm going to actually use that one to highlight my purple. And now we're just going to brush off this excess powder that we have. On this side and on this side. And yeah, we're going to go crazy. I'm going to put purple on my lower lash line. So... I am going to grab this brush because it has purple and I'm going to tap into the darkest purple and I am just going to lightly drag that on my lower lash line. So I just added some lashes and some lipstick. This is look number two. What do you guys think? And so I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pick up. Let me let me get let me get situated because I am not situated <laughs> but I am going to go in with this orange shade that's in the palette and I'm just gonna put that all over my crease I of course already primed my eyelids I use concealer for all of these looks I use concealer and it's the it's just a Milani concealer I actually really like that concealer because it's so full coverage and it just wow it just looks so good I'm just gonna blend this out even more and once that's blended I'm gonna grab the more peachy shade that's right next to it and I'm going to blend that with this orange that we have going on and I'm putting that all over my lid so it'll look something like that these eyeshadows are really intense I'm just going to blend it out as much as I can so it doesn't look as harsh. And now that we have that, I am going to grab a smaller brush and let's see, let's see. Just putting some of this green shadow on the outer part of my eyelid. And we're going to blend it out right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to extend this up. Like that. Like if I was creating a wing. And then I'm going to connect it to my crease. And I'm just going to pull it in. Like that. And then just fix the end. Make it look pointy. And then just fill it in. Creating kind of like a cat eye look with this green shimmery shade. Do I look like a pumpkin? Girl, look how orange you look. <laughs> ah, that's how I feel. So once I pick up that green, um, green, brown, yellow, shimmery shade that we have going on the palette, I'm just gonna put it on my inner 
eyelid and I'm going to go ahead and connect that to my crease like that and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend these two together have them marry each other once I have that it's gonna look you know a little bit of something like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and fix this outer just make it more straight as straight as possible and I'm just gonna keep on blending these two together and then once we have our eyes I think that looks pretty good I'm going to add lashes real quick focus focus okay now that we have this look I am going to go ahead and finish off my lower lash line and I'm going to grab a coppery shade that's in the palette. It's a shimmer shade and I'm going to put that right in the middle of my lower lash line and then slowly just drag it along. And I'm using a flat top brush. Grab that same shadow that we put on our outer corner of our eyelid and we're going to put it on the bottom lower lash line just to give it a little bit more of a connection with the both the bottom and the top all right so now that we have lipstick on i think that we are done this is the third look and yeah thank you for watching everyone um i'll see you guys on my next video i had a lot of fun doing this actually because i got to see myself experimenting with a bunch of different shades that i didn't normally would pick yeah i'll see you on my next video everyone bye